Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, I got a good one for you today, the last one of the week. Um, Gabriella Fondora, the uh, brother of the, the brother, the sister of the uh, 154 pound men's world champion, Sebastian Fondora, uh, takes on Daniela Asenio uh, in what should be. A somewhat interesting fight, contrast to styles. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport. Um, so join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Five dollars a month to get you all the perks, get you the updated perk. Uh, the updated props, the lock of the week. Uh, we lock again this week. The lock of the week is out now, so join now. Five dollars a month. Get the ask the bookie anything, get you all the props. Uh, request a video, request a breakdown. I will do it all for you at the low price of five dollars a month. Also, um, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Sebastian, Sebastian Fondora. I'm going to do, do this a few times. Gabriella Fondora. Long uses her jab, keeps you at bay. She manages and maintains that distance very well. She fights like you would want a tall fighter to fight. Uses her height and her reach, controls, controls the fight, controls the range. Uh, she controls the tempo of the fight. Nice, straight punches. She keeps you at the end of her punches. Doesn't have great speed. She's got good power for a female. It looks like she doesn't, but you can see that there's there's a lot of bang on her, on, on her shots. Um, not particularly fleet of foot or fleet of fist. Uh, she's disciplined, though. She's very disciplined and, and doesn't get over aggressive. She stays composed. She stays to the game plan. She sticks to what she is, is which is a long power puncher. Decent pop, like I said, on her shots. She's really, really good. Uh, she's a southpaw, obviously. On the straight left off the double jab. The double jab followed by the straight left is as good as I see for a, a tall fighter in the women's division. Nice jab. You know, nice jab. Uses the reach. Seems composed and disciplined and sets up her power shots very, very well. Accurate with her straight left. The straight left, which she uses off her jab, is a dynamic punch. It's it's the double jab left hand from the southpaw stance. That really, really, really uh, gives you trouble. And she's just high IQ fighter, patient, calm fighter. She's in control, great feet, utilizes uh, she utilizes her height and, she, and her intelligence and her experience. And you can see she's not frazzled. She stays in control. She lost around to a cruise and stuff, and she stayed calm and stayed in, you know, stayed in control. Daniela Asenio, short, stocky fighter. Not the bigger hitter. And she goes backwards. Stylistically, I think this is right up Fandora's alley. She's got a shotgun jab, does Asenio. Uh, but she gets a little wild. It's a little bit slow. You know, she kind of like pushes her shots, and she gets out in front of it. And she leaves herself open to be counted. And I, I think over time, Fedora picks her apart, may even get a late stoppage. I would not bet the over-under on this because there's a, a, a solid chance. I haven't, we'll get to that in a little bit. I would not take the over on this fight. I'm not saying it doesn't hit. It very well could. This could be a knockout. This definitely could be a knockout. It's aggressive, good volume, throws big shots. She's aggressive. She's, she wants to stand in the center of the ring and trade, but she can't be pushed backwards. Two pistol fighter gets caught a lot. She lunges in and gets caught. She's defensively sloppy, rushes in, wants to mix it up, wants to make it a tussle. She's physical. She's, I don't want to say dirty, but she's physical on the inside. She uses her physicality on the inside. Not a lot of head movement. She's easy to hit. And that's ultimately she's sloppy defensively. There's not a lot of head movement. She's easy to hit, and she wants to fight. So it could be a fun fight while it lasts. And, you know, we're going to find out how tough she is in this fight. But I definitely like Fandora to win. I think it's a great fight to add to your parlay. Uh, unfortunately, there are no props on this. I, mean, I, I, I don't, wouldn't love the props in this either way unless they were really leaning one way. Oh, we do have – do we? Nope. No props on that. All right. Fandora, 
Hunter Allen money line bet makes it six twenty five. Again, we're not make. I, I I would do a two times bet on this. Honestly, honestly, um, throw that two times bet is only gonna make it you know thirteen bucks or so. It's not the best odds. I think this is a great fight to add to your parlay. I, I like the knockdown. There's no the knockout. There's no props on it. If it was paying positive money, it might be something to look at. I'm not, you know, I hate betting on knockouts in women's fights for that reason because they, they so rarely happen. I usually always love the over. I don't love the over. I think Mendora may stop her late here. I'm not convinced of it. But the odds could sway me in that direction. But for this bet, add this to your parlay. Uh, or, and it's a great bet to help bring down the odds just a little bit. You can throw this in with your Virgil Ortiz. Uh, if you throw this in with Virgil Ortiz by stoppage, you're making plus money or close to it. So there's a nice little two lay parlay for you. Uh, but lock this in minus sixteen hundred. Make it two times if you just stand alone bet. You'll make some money on this. It, it, it's you know it's not the best odds, but she's absolutely gonna win this fight. And that's a review. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, did I put that up there? Did I put this up there? Pandora, minus sixteen hundred. Did, did I? Put that up there for you. Minus 1600 Two times bet makes you 13 bucks. Add this to your parlay. Make some money on it. Uh, if you want to do it, do a standalone bet on it. That's fine. It's not going to make you a ton of money, obviously. Uh, there's not a lot of great fights to bet this week. There's a lot of layups. Uh, I, I like Virgil Ortiz. I like Vandal Delgado. And this is something else you can add to that. Help bring down those odds. Make that parlay just a little sweeter. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Black. Please smash the like button on the way out. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. All right, y'all. It is August 9th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless.